I'm Sam and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. Today we are back with another absolutely massive dynamite haul. This one is full of so many fall goodies including what I have on currently. These were some of my favorite pieces from the haul not to spoil everything but because we do have so much stuff today to try on I thought that I would skip the typical unboxing part and just go straight to the clips where I have everything already on and I'm reviewing it. So without further ado, let's get into it. I liked this dress online and I wanted to try it out, but in person, I feel like I'm wearing a sexy Jedi costume. Maybe it's just the color or like the sleeves or how intense this like belt area is with all these different details, but I'm not in love with this at all. Okay, this is a lot more like it and I feel like this is giving me serious Aritzia vibes. This sweater in particular is so soft. Like it's very stretchy, it's very soft, it's comfortable. I really like it. I feel like having it sleeveless makes it look very fancy and it looks like a bit more expensive. I do love faux leather from Dynamite as like a cheaper option to Aritzia in particular. However, once you start looking at the waistband here, I feel like that breaks the illusion of it being a more expensive piece just in the way where you can see the elastic here. If you intend to just wear this skirt with something a little bit longer over top of it, I think that it is great. But if you're going to be wearing it more with crop tops or with things tucked into it, I just don't think that that detail was perfectly thought out here. However, this sweater, I would definitely recommend. These feel very much like Aritzia dupes to me. And unfortunately, I do think that Dynamite kind of missed the mark here. This top, I think, is supposed to be a dupe for like the contour collection at Aritzia, which is one of my faves. They are beloved by, I feel like, pretty much everyone. But I do think it's a little bit less thick and it feels like it holds me in a little bit less. The other main difference that I'm seeing right away is the stitching on this top. I definitely don't like the finishings on it as much as the Aritzia, but the fabric does feel very, very similar. And maybe if I got a smaller size, it would give me kind of that like held in feeling. And then these pants. I feel like these pants are certainly trying to be the effortless pant. And in the style and the cut, I do think that they are doing quite a good job. You can maybe see the length is quite good on me. The fabric though is really where I see the biggest difference. These are super, super thin and they do feel kind of cheap. So in terms of an option, I think that overall, like this outfit looks okay. And these pants, I think you could certainly style them and make them look great in an outfit. But when it comes to the price and like the value of getting this thin, thin polyester rayon and a little bit of spandex blend versus a higher quality material somewhere else, I don't think that these are totally worth it. And I also have the matching blazer, which unfortunately feels just as thin. Oof, the sleeves are also really not long enough on this for me. Unfortunately, this feels even cheaper than the pants do because it really lacks any structure. Aesthetically, like looking at the viewfinder, I feel like this is a good outfit and these pieces do look nice. However, the way that they feel isn't great. Maybe you can see the difference between these two blazers to get a better idea of what I'm talking about. This one I feel like is so thin and very shapeless, whereas this one, even though it's also thin, it is lined with just more of like a typical blazer-like material. This is a beautiful color though, I will give them that. As much as this is not enough structure as what I would normally like in these pieces, I think they're going in the right direction. This blazer, I like. It is 
still more on the thin side. The exterior fabric, I think, is a lot better quality than the last one. Something about the skirt on me isn't totally right. Maybe I just needed to get an extra small in this one instead of a small. However, this blazer, even despite its flaws, I feel like this color and pattern is so perfect and is something that I have been trying to thrift for a very, very long time. This is a slightly different style. So this is a double breasted blazer. And I don't know how often I would really wear it closed, but I do like the way that it looks open. This blazer is a winner for sure. And then the skirt, if you're interested in the set, make sure that you size down. These two pieces seem like some great basics for fall. And these jeans I picked out because they are a little bit more of a baggy style. They're also low rise, which I have just been falling more and more and more in love with. With the jeans, I do actually really like this cut they do feel like pretty good quality and if I didn't already have like so many new pairs of jeans in my closet this fall I would seriously think about keeping these ones this sweater is actually really comfy it's very very stretchy so even though it is quite fitted like it's a very comfortable style really like both of these pieces and I actually think that they look really cute together this feels very fall clueless back to school vibes and I love this classic black and white hounds tooth. I think this is just the exact same skirt as the last one that I had on with the addition of these little pockets, little faux pockets, I think, in the front here. So it looks cute, but again, I think maybe going for a slightly smaller size would make it fit me a little bit better. This is a really cute outfit, and it's something that I would definitely wear, but when it comes to the quality, particularly of the blazer, I feel like I have tried on something very similar last season at Zara, where I felt like the construction was just a little bit better for a similar price point. That being said, if you are in love with this, it is adorable and I can see why. One thing that I did not notice last year that I have seen a little bit of this year from Dynamite is that they are carrying more kind of premium, more expensive outerwear in particular. So for instance, this jacket is about $140 Canadian. I think it looks really nice, especially belted. And because it's faux leather, it might actually keep you kind of warm as well since it is so very long. When you compare this to something like my faux leather blazer, from Zara, I can just feel such a difference in terms of the construction of it and like the weight of the piece where I feel like they still have a ways to go. This is a very thick coat. I do really like the blue color. I just think that this material is a little bit too much for this type of jacket. And I wish that the sleeves as well were like just a touch a little bit longer. If you've been looking to try out the micro mini skirt trend, then I think that this is a really good option. This one actually has shorts built in underneath it. And I love a good skirt especially when the hemline is a little bit higher like this one and I just think this is such a cute little fall schoolgirl staple skirt but again you don't have to worry about flashing everyone because it is actually a skirt actually it's from garage it's not even from dynamite but you can order things together like in one order from both of those websites and I think that I'm actually going to be keeping this one I feel like it's a really cute look especially with the little loafers for fall. I love this. Okay, this coat. This coat is the most expensive thing I think I've ever seen and definitely that I've ever purchased from Dynamite. This is $200 Canadian and it does have wool in it, which is great since it is like a winter coat. And I'm assuming again, like they're trying to create things that are a little bit more of a premium experience. I like that this material is a little bit fuzzy. And I think that the shape in terms of like more of a cocoon kind of a wrap style coat is a good one and something that we will be seeing a lot of this fall. However, 
I'm just not totally convinced that the $200 is worth it. I do think that there are lots of cute ways that you could style this jacket, but when it comes down to it, the finishings on it, it's just not quite there to justify a price tag like that. I have seen quite a few people style waistcoats with dress pants, and even though I couldn't find the matching set for either of these, I just wanted to show you this to like get an idea of how I might style it. I think that this waistcoat is actually really cute. Like that this waistcoat is a little bit cropped. I feel like that looks nice if you're gonna wear it with something high-waisted, like with a pair of dress pants. And it is like quite comfortable. I feel like the structure on this is quite good as well. So to me, I feel like this is a super cute one that's a winner. I like that this material is really soft. You could of course also layer this if you didn't want to wear it on its own. It could look really nice over top of like a button up shirt as well. I saw this corset, but like not quite a corset top. And I thought that it would be really cute and also maybe more comfortable. If you've tried on a corset that had, you know, the typical boning in it, you know they're not always the most fun things to wear. This one I think is a nice alternative because it actually, though it has the stitching like there should be boning there, there is none and it's just this beautiful, stretchy, comfortable mesh instead. It's very, very soft and I really like the way that these two colors look together. Actually, I think with the plaid blazer, this would look even better. Seriously, I love the way that this looks and it's all so comfortable as well. I'm still not fully sold on these pants, but certainly this blazer and this top, I really like. I hope that this video has been helpful and that you've been able to get a good idea of what some of the upcoming fall styles from Dynamite are like. If you have any questions, as always, please leave me a note down there in the comments. Feel free, you can always send me a DM on Instagram as well if that's easier. I do have everything linked down below along with a little notes on the sizing that I'm wearing in each item and if I would prefer to size up or size down in anything. So I guess with that, I will see you on Sunday Monday with a brand new vlog and then I will see you next Wednesday with a brand new video. Bye!